Hello everybody, this video is giving you four easy ways to increase power in your swing based on mechanical advantage. And what I mean by that is it's four ways to increase the speed and power in the swing not relating to body turn and body rotation which I've already covered in previous video. So we're going to put the body to one side. If you want to learn how to load, store and release power through the body, check out some of my other videos. This video is based on the mechanical advantage of levers in the swing. So the first tip, or the number one, is create the leverage. So you need to have a decent golf grip to be able to do this. Okay? You've got to get that left hand grip nice in the fingers and out of the palm. All right? So make sure that the left hand grips in the fingers right hands on top nicely in good posture and now when we're swinging back is allow the right elbow to fold allow this right arm to fold that's how you create leverage in the backswing it's not so much done through trying to bend and hinge the wrist it's more done through the, the right arm if i have this rope here and i stretch this rope and i keep this rope taut pulling this rope back you can see this rope stays taut, but I'm allowing my right arm to fold at the elbow joint. So this is giving me leverage through the right elbow. Now, obviously, when your right elbow folds, when it extends, you're going to create a lot more velocity and speed with the club. Exactly the same as throwing a ball. The other thing is when that right elbow folds, that actually then hinges or Cox the left wrist. So if you have a decent grip and you fold that right arm, the left wrist will naturally hinge, creating this angle between the left arm and shaft. So you can say that the right arm folding creates almost a double lever. The right elbow, this position becomes out of line and then something's out of line, it adds power when it's brought back into line and the left wrist is brought out of line here see the left arm and shaft around 90 degrees. Once you've created this leverage in the swing, the next one you could do is to make sure that you get an, the correct arc on the backswing. You know, a lot of guys come in, six foot, six foot four, big tall guys, long arms, and they're not using that to their advantage, okay? So I really want you to make sure that you get your hands over that right shoulder, stretching that all the way to the top of the swing. You know, there's no point having a good swing here on plane and swinging back and having the hands flat and low. Get those hands up and over your right shoulder at the top of the swing. That's creating the arc. Physics would tell us the further our hands or the further away an object is from the center, the faster it will go. The further our hands are away from the center of rotation, being in the middle of our our spine here, the faster they will swing and the downswing. Number three, once you've created this leverage in the swing, is you have to learn to line it up properly at impact. What I mean by that is during the downswing, we want to make sure that we time the rotation, time this outward movement of the club, so we get the shaft and the left arm in line at impact. Again, mechanical advantage. You now have a lever that's from the tip of my left shoulder down to the club head, it's about 70 inches long. If I mistimed that downswing and I didn't line up that lever correctly at the bottom, you can see it's out of line here. My lever is then only 30 inches long. Okay, so there's no way I'm gonna produce as much potential power and speed the last one is the release or the transfer. Once you've created the lever, got the arc, lined up the lever at the bottom of the swing here, it's important then to allow the, the grip to rotate so the butt of the club points back to your body. That is transferring the power from the hands into the club head, giving you maximum velocity and acceleration with the club. Lining up at the impact here, and then allowing the, the middle of the handle to rotate. You can see the ping label here is rotating anti-clockwise. 
the bugger club points back to my body and that gives you full extension of the arms and allows the, the forearms to rotate on through into finish. Four easy ways to increase power in your swing based on mechanical advantage. Put them into action to see if you can improve them.